Hey, what's up, everybody? Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today, we're going to check out Analog Tales from Karanyi Sounds. This is a library for the full version of Contact, so something to keep in mind going forward. Before we get started checking this one out, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and, of course, hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. All right, so Analog Tales from Karani Sounds. If you go and watch the official walkthrough, I did that for them, so I'm pretty familiar with this instrument, so I decided to do the video for this for you today. Now, there's a lot going on here. At its most basic, we click this, and it'll go back to like the basic tab. This blends between the two sides here, as you can see. It's the mod wheel by default. Look right there, it's blended between this half and this half. You can turn any of these on or off just by clicking that. So right now we only have one sound source here. Turn this one on. And then turn these two on and put it right in the center. Even blend between all four. And then to the left. just those two on the left and again you can turn this off you can click this and load between these different sound sources as well all um, analog synth samples all right so we go back to the main page here Again, the simple controls, that's just the blend. And then here we have some snapshots and everything. Something really cool about this is the randomization features down here. Um, so like, let's just real quick check this out. Click this. Actually, let me go back to the default. All right, so we click this, it'll change the shape of the sound. So this will change between a lead, a key, a pad, and then a pluck, as you can hear. Key, a lead, and then a pad here. So a real quick way to get different shapes, different types of sounds, lead, key, pluck, pad, from the exact same sound sources that we initially had. Then we have the dimension, which is a chorus type effect, and then a delay here on the bottom. These will randomize those, the parameters of those. This one here is going to do the reverb, as you can see here in the space. And if you have it turned off, it'll randomize the knobs, but actually you won't hear it, of course, until you turn it on. So. And then finally down here you can see the tone like EQ. So quick look at it there and then of course we have some presets here. So what I really like about it is just the fact you can, if you find a sound you really like, like I really like that, it's kind of retro, nice modulation going on. But what if I want it as a key or a pluck instead? Just click this and it... Mm -hmm. 
and the pad. So you can get some really great just kind of analog sounds, just basic stuff like that, the bass. Or you can get some really crazy pulsating stuff. You can even take this bass and turn it into some really crazy pulsating stuff with a few clicks, really. Turn the filter on, on all of these, raise the amount there for the LFO, select the filter for the LFO, so it's very easy to change the sound while it does have presets. I would really encourage you just to not even really use them. Maybe pick one because they are great sounds, but load one up and then tweak it. Tweak the hell out of it because you can totally change it and it's very easy to do so. Um, and you can even start just with this with the randomization features down here at the bottom. So hope you guys enjoy that. I'll see you next time.